on today's churchtechcast.com Q&A show. Recording audio and slides, a cheap live streaming rig, and screen capture with QuickTime 10. Hi, and welcome again to the churchtechcast.com Q&A show. This is the show where every week I answer your church tech questions. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. First question comes to me via email, uh, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, from Adam Cottrell. And he says, our pastor uses ProPresenter to do his slideshow during his sermon. At the same time, our sound crew is recording the audio in a digital recorder. My question is... Is there a way to merge these two into a single video file at the same time as he is preaching? I know with the software that I can take his exported slides and add them into a video editor, giving each slide a time duration, then finishing it by adding audio. The problem is I would like to have his sermon as he is doing it. I keep going on with the steps, but I think... You know, what I'm getting to, uh, it's too time-consuming and not worth it uh, just to link the two together. End result is to give our shut-ins the ability to hear the sermon, but with our new pastor, he uses a lot of visuals, and I'd like to pair the two together. Any help uh, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, Adam. Well, thank you, Adam, for your question. Um, You can do... Two things. First off, if you're using ProPresenter 6, you can actually export the whole thing as a video. But that doesn't include the sermon audio. So how do you do that? Here's an idea. If you were to use um, screen capture software like QuickTime 10, for example, um, which we're going to talk about here in a future question, stay tuned for that, um, What you could do is take the audio from the soundboard and bring it into the computer and have that playing at the same time and record that audio on the computer at the same time you record the capture of the main screen. Now, let me caution you on this. I would want to do a full-scale test to make sure that doesn't cause instability with your machine that's running ProPresenter. Because ProPresenter, depending on how you use it, can be um, kind of resource intensive. You know, if you're doing multiple layers of video and the video's been tweaked and all that, then you can have problems. But if it's just a series of stills, you might be perfectly okay. Again, depending on the machine, how much RAM you have, how much video RAM, etc., etc., etc. So, Go ahead and uh, try and figure out which. Try and figure out if this works for you, and then give it a go. I'd love to see the results. Now, Peter Castani again via email. Uh, could you do an article on a live stream system for churches for church services for five hundred dollars or under? Well, let me start out in saying that. The live encoder that I recommend is about 750. So that that's a bit of a problem if you want to include uh, a, a camera and some other stuff. But let me say this. Let's assume you already have a good computer because you're not going to be able to do this for $100 and then a $200 computer. You need to already have a pretty good computer because live streaming, the encoding on the side of it, I talk to gamers all the time on uh, one of the videos I did about live streaming, and they're like, well, I've got a great machine. Yes, but you're pushing your machine to the limits to run your game, and then you want to encode video on the same machine at the same time that's going to be a problem because encoding video is about as intensive as 
doing one of these really high frame rate, really intense games. So with all that said, if you have a good computer and you have a good uh, camera, then it becomes much easier. You can use Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder or something like that. Now, I did do an article on how to do like a $300 streaming system, assuming you had a good computer. If you have a good computer, uh, you could get a low-end consumer, um, like a Canon Vixia camcorder. I'm looking around to see if I, it's just out of reach or I would show it to you. Um, I got one used on eBay, uh, not eBay, rather, Amazon. It was an open box deal for like 150 bucks, and that's a good starting camera. Um, so you could do that. Um, if you already have a camera, you could always go with the Church Streamer, which is about 500 bucks from churchstreaming.tv. Unlike the uh, Boxcaster, it's not tied to them as a system, so that might be worth doing. It's one of the pieces that I have in my collection, and uh, I really recommend it. So you've got some options, and I'll leave a link in the show notes below to the 300-ish live streaming system that maybe is something you could look into, assuming you've got a few pieces already. Finally, um, Ray Sesta, Kesta, Sesta, it's C-E-S-T-A. Let's say Sesta. Ray Sesta. It's like Bible place names. You just have to be, you know, confident. Ray Sesta writes, also via email, Hi, Paul. I run the projection for our church and sometimes make my own presentations using ProPresenter 5. I have a presentation with sound I wanted to record. I came across your video about recording the output using QuickTime. There was part of the video in which you appeared that you were doing something on another monitor or off screen. Is it possible you could help me with this? Thanks. Yeah, no problem. So what you do in QuickTime 10 is you fire it up and then you go to the top, new screen recording, and then it says either draw a box, you know, click and drag to draw a box around the window you want, or click on the screen you want to record. So since I was recording the main display and not the output, you saw me move my mouse over to the side. All I was doing was clicking just a click. That's all you missed, so uh, just follow the rest of the instructions and that'll work for you. Well, I hope that answered your church tech question, and if not, just ask it below the video. No problem. Or you can drop me a line via email like these uh, lovely people did, and I'll be happy to add, uh, answer your question in a future show. I'm getting a little behind, by the way, so i um, I'm, I actually batch record these, and as I'm recording, it is the middle of June 2016, and I have um, probably, I'm going to finish up through July when I get done recording tonight, but I have questions up through into September. So if it's really important, I'll respond to you immediately when you ask, but don't depend on the video coming out immediately because it probably isn't going to. But you can always ask if you're a member of my newsletter. So just go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. Subscribe there and you can get a copy of uh, my email newsletter along with some tips, tricks, and a place to just hit reply, and ask a question. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.